Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my kitchen. It's, wow, it's about 6.30. Uh, Saturday morning, raining out, so I decided I was going to just try to clean out my refrigerator a little bit. Got some scraps, different things I've used during the week, and I thought I'd make a frittata for breakfast. So, on a frittata, you can put anything you have left over, any kind of vegetables, broccoli, um, peas, even green beans, meats, and I'm doing four strips of bacon here that I have, and you could also use ham, or you could use sausage, you can ground chicken, ground turkey, but I'm just sauteing off four strips of bacon that I cut in lard, lard on small strips, and I'm crisping that up. I've also got some mushrooms that I had left over, probably about a cup, maybe a little bit more. I got half of a tomato, I made a tomato sandwich yesterday, uh, my heirloom tomatoes, so I'm gonna use that up so I don't lose it. I got about half an onion, half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of basil, and a half a teaspoon of thyme. And I got some baby lettuce here that I used earlier in the week some, and I don't want it to go bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that as well. So I think the bacon's just about done. Let me get the paper towel. And we're gonna get this bacon out. This. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use the fat that's in the pan already from the bacon. I'm not gonna waste that. There's not a whole lot in there, a couple tablespoons maybe. There we go. And get all that out, I'm gonna let that drain, get some of that fat off of that. Get that away from there so we don't catch fire. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put in the mushrooms. Let them salt, start sauteing in that bacon fat. Want them to soften up, loosen up a little bit. And then let's cut up this onion because I don't want real crispy, crunchy onions in it. I want it a little bit soft, so I'm gonna go ahead and saute them off as well. And this is just a good weekend, even a weekday breakfast. Just use up the things that you have in your refrigerator and pantry and that way you don't waste anything. For the price of the food nowadays, it's good just to use up everything you have and don't waste it. Sticking to the knife. I'm gonna saute that off. Whoops, got a little onion under there. And a uh, moisture from the onions and the mushrooms is gonna cook out. It's gonna help lift up some of that brown on the bottom of the pan left from the bacon. It's gonna brown up the onions nice. Get the mushrooms cooked. And I'm sure Start cooking this bacon. It's gonna wake everybody up in the house. Let me get this tomato finished cut up. You can use just a small Roma tomato. That's what I usually use. My recipe calls for, but since I have this, I'm not gonna waste it. And I've got another one sitting up here that I'll go make another tomato sandwich today. This white bread, tomato, and mayonnaise. There's nothing better. In fact, growing up, I used to go out in the garden and just pick mom's tomatoes right off the vine and eat them just like an apple. They're so sweet, so good. And this will come together real quick for you, especially if you have guests, full family visiting, or just your family. You can throw this together, get it in the oven, and by the time they wake up from smelling that bacon, it'll be ready for them to go. You heard my oven go off. I got it set at 350. So we're gonna finish it off in the oven for about 14, 15 minutes. Okay, those look pretty good sauteed down. So now, I do have some garlic, probably about two cloves of garlic that I minced. And I'm gonna add in, Go ahead and put the let's go ahead and put the spinach in so it starts wilting down. 
Looks like a lot of spinach, but that is going to wilt down to almost nothing if you cook with spinach. You know what I'm talking about. Let's help it wilt a little bit better. I'll just put the lid on it for a minute. I'm gonna scoot these tomatoes over and get my eggs ready. I've got a half a cup of milk. And I'm gonna add in all my seasonings. And I put a little salt and pepper in here. Overboard. Still early. I have not had all my coffee. I'm just trying to get this done because I got a lot to do today in between all these rain showers. All right. So if you weren't counting with me there and you should have been paying attention, I did five eggs. Well, five and part of an egg. I'm gonna mix that up together here. Get all that broke down. I see my spinach is already starting to whoop well. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the tomatoes because I want that juice in the tomatoes to steam and cook out a little bit and that'll help steam up and break down that spinach there. is all mixed together well and the only difference between a frittata and quiche quiche was real popular in the 80s early 90s is this doesn't have a crust quiche has a crust and we're not doing crust all right mm. that smells good i can smell the bacon over here but i smell the onions and the garlic cooking in here Yeah, spinach is like almost gone. So I want to spread that out a little bit because once we pour the eggs in, it's not going to go very far. So you don't want a big old clump of spinach over here and nothing on the other side. Made it spread out a little bit. I'm going to turn this down to about medium low. This can, this pot or pan cooks a little hot because steel clad bottom, so it does cook a little warm. Everybody stoves a little different, so just you'll know how much because we're gonna pour this in. We're just gonna let it cook for a couple minutes until it starts setting on the side a little bit. And then we're gonna finish it off in the oven. Now you could also add some cheese to this. I don't have any cheese right now. I've used it up in all my recipes all week long. So I think you could definitely sprinkle some cheese over top of here especially just before you put it in the oven. I forgot about the bacon, I might have had to eat that. Okay, we'll sprinkle that, sprinkle that over there. One for the cook. Maybe a couple before I start filming for the cook that you didn't see. There we go. Clean up over here. Check this. Yeah, the sides are cooking a little bit there. The bottom's starting to cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this in the oven. Uncovered. We're gonna let it cook for about 14, 15 minutes to set. And when I bring it out, I'll bring you all back so we can see what it looks like. See you in a few. Okay, everybody, we're back. The frittata's probably got about half a minute left, or well, 50 seconds left. I did it for 14 minutes. It looked like I need another minute to set. So I just turned it, I left it in, put another minute on it. Um, don't forget, I'm gonna put all the ingredients down below in the description, so you don't have to worry about it. I also have a link in there to my website, grapes-kitchen.com, I'll put it right there. That will be a place that you can also just print out the recipe if you'd like to keep it out and have it handy at any time. 
So we got about 20 seconds left. I think I can check it. I'm gonna turn that off. Ooh, hot. Mm, looks beautiful. There we go. All right. Let that cool just a minute. I don't want to cut into it yet because I don't want it to seep around. Try to get those handles out of my way. As you can see, I've already switched to tea. I've finished my coffee. So let me make sure this is set. Seems to be, so I'm just going to cut a slice out. How oh, that bacon and the mm, garlic, that stuff. It just smells delicious. Of course, this first piece is just gonna be like a piece of pie. It's gonna be hard to get out. Uh, let's try this first. I'm just move it up a little bit. I think I'm gonna need a longer one. Over here. Spin that around so it's out of my way. Well, it didn't come out as pretty as I'd hoped, but it smells delicious. And if it tastes as good as it smells, that is all that counts. Let me get that tomato. I do have a little bit of juice down in the bottom of the pan because of the tomatoes. They were, that tomato was nice and juicy. Clean that off there. And I'm gonna go ahead and top mine with some sour cream. You know what? I have some pickled onions I did this week. I think that'd be good on top there too. These are delicious, add a little bit of tang. You can top it with whatever, whatever you like. If you need it just plain. I just want to add a little bit to it. There we go. That will stain my board. And yeah, let's get a fork out here. Well, spoon. I thought I was getting a fork. Get a little taste. Mmm, that smells delicious. Gonna burn my face. Mmm. Well, I actually tasted the spinach first. Was it eggs? Do I have a little bite? It's delicious. Like I said, you can put anything in a frittata you want. Go through your uh, refrigerator. Like I said, if you have broccoli, spinach, cauliflower, asparagus, any kind of meat, just put it together, bake it for about 14, 15 minutes after everything's sauteed together. You have a great little quick breakfast. So give this a try. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe and hit that bell. So as soon as I put up a new video, you'll be notified. Again, I thank you so much for coming and joining me in my kitchen this morning. Have a great weekend and a blessed day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.